prejudice and racism is something you're going to face um, on a regular basis in some ways. Some, sometimes you don't. But it's something to be prepared for. Uh, you're going to get it from work. I've got a few racist colleagues. Um, you're going to get it from your neighbors, relatives, um, anybody that doesn't like mixed uh, relationships, anybody who doesn't like other people outside their own cultures and race, you're going to get it from them. Now, it doesn't mean you have to sit there and just take it. Uh, what I do is I normally use wit because uh, I find wit uh, suits me but bothers them. Um, for example, when somebody goes, oh, all Filipinos are stupid, I tell her, I say, my wife has got speaks five languages and a graduate engineer, what about you? And then I just walk off. I don't even wait for a response because that, you know already, A, that pause where they've had to go, hang on a minute, you've already walked off. They've had no chance to respond, so that's going to bug them. The second one is, it's going to bug them, they, your wife's better educated than they are. Um, and multilingual. The next one is, <coughs> you will get it from people like uh, immigration and whatever. And I have to admit, I like the Spanish immigration system. I like the Spanish people. They're not complete arses like the UK. Um, yeah, UK have got their head so far up their own backside in many ways. Uh, they think it's the holy grail of immigration, yet the people that are letting in at the moment in many ways are the people that nobody else wants. Yet the people like myself don't want to go back anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. So for me, I'm not really bothered about the UK. You, they can keep it. But the um, the point is, you'll get racism from everywhere. You. But it's how you deal with it. Family are probably going to be one of the bigger ones. I know people that have got some major problems in their families at the moment, where they're dating at the moment. Uh, somebody in the Philippines, but being a family um, that are from a different culture, and they're not white, they're, well, I don't know if you define them as white, cause, but anyway, but the, the fact is the whole family's rejected this guy's wife, even, well, girlfriend, there will be his wife, but what I'll say in that situation is, just ignore it because what happens is when you get married and it's a hundred percent committed people generally will come around or they just won't speak to you again and if that's the case they don't speak to you again they obviously didn't value you as a person they value themselves as being some somebody on a pillar that isn't worth knowing so be aware of those things and you will get it you will get the guys at work mock you behind your back um, but it's like with it, somebody said to me, it was a comment, I can't remember what the actual comment was, but I just turned around and I said, well, is your wife still on that diet? And while they were pausing for that, I walked away, because they know my, I have a very beautiful, um, intelligent, smart, attractive wife that is not overweight. <laughs> but yeah. That sort of stuff bugs people, you know, because he'll go to work and go home to his wife and say, do you know Matt said that he asked if you were still on your diet today? He won't mention he'd made a racist comment. But if his wife ever spoke to me, I'd explain why, and he'll probably get grief off her. But I don't let it bother me, because these people are just prejudiced racists. They're just narrow-minded in many ways. Now, in some ways... I, can, I do get some of the issues, you know, the problems of Somalians in Birmingham are a major problem just because they refuse to integrate in many ways, but that is not for me to fix. I don't go around complaining about them. I just simply go, you know, you know, if, if a Somalian guy actually asked me for a job, I would give him a job because he's a guy, not because of where he came from, <coughs> because the fact is, if you stereotype people and push them down, they will become that stereotype because you're not giving them the opportunity. So you can't sit there and complain that they're, these people are like that when you haven't given them the opportunity to change. And that's the big driving force for me is the uh, that 
you can't drive push people down constantly. You you need to be helping them, not and I I'm not about helping in the benefit street way because that just doesn't work. I'm about re-educating, getting people trained, language skills, everything. You know, it's not monetary because that's where the corruption comes in. It has to be bums on seats, getting an education, giving them life skills, giving them education to integrate. And they may not want to integrate, but the fact is, when they signed up to come to the UK. Um, they agreed to it. <coughs> now, I know a lot of them are asylum seekers and they didn't sign anything, but at the same time, they came here for a reason. And although their reason may be um, for freeloading, doesn't mean we have to say that's the only option there. Um, and personally, I'd like to see more of an effort made in to integrating because integration is not just for the UK but generally integration is society in many ways which doesn't matter where they go in the future they can understand cultures when I go to another country I spend time to integrate with the locals um, where we are in Spain I integrate with everybody here I spent some we you know the first couple of days I got back we had four dinner parties we had people from the Dominican Republic uh, Ukraine um, Thailand and Spain you know, we live in a multicultural area, but we make an effort to integrate with the people around us. Because integrating is not just about integrating with Spain because we live here, but integrating with the community. And we, you know, that is the important bit. And our community, community is multicultural, so as such, we integrate with the multicultural area. Nothing wrong with it. It's it's, it's part of life. Um, but yeah. Prejudice, racism, be aware it's going to happen, but <coughs> you don't have to take it lightly. I just say don't lose your temper over it. Much better to push it back in wit. Um, and if it is more serious, take it to a tribunal. Personally, I, it would have to be pretty serious for me to t take it to a tribunal. The more likely to be taking it to an ambulance. Um, but generally people are just mouthing off um, and with that use your use your head come up with something smarter something that will push them back a fair bit and think um, but also like I says it will bug them all day where you've just like gone on to whatever else you got to do that day don't even think about it anymore but they'll be sitting whining about it two days later <laughs> All right.